Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to continue where I left off in yesterday's video introducing Flask Restless. So yesterday I showed you how to set up Flask Restless and how to do basic git requests on um, the API that's created with Flask Restless. Today I'll show you how to do a little more. I'll show you how to do another type of git requests and I'll show you how to do post requests and delete requests. So. The first thing I'll, I want to show you is doing git requests again. So let me start my server. And it's going to be restless.py. So I have Postman open. Postman is uh, an extension for Chrome that allows you to do different HTTP requests, uh, git, post, put, patch, delete, and all these other ones, some of these I've never even heard of before. Um, because through the browser, you can only do Git requests. And you could do post requests with a little bit of um, uh, effort, but all these other requests you won't be able to do quite as easily. So Postman allows you to do all these through this convenient uh, UI. So let me type in my server, it's port 5000, I believe, API, and then person. So this is what I did in the last video. So I'm just doing the same thing again. And this is what Flask Restless gives me. It's a representation of the data that I have in my database. And I didn't have to set this up manually. All I had to do was use this API manager to create an API on the model that I created. And it took care of the rest. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the other things that Flask Restless takes care of automatically. So yesterday I showed you how to do this. So this is just get everything that's in that particular table. Well, if you want to do it by ID, then you can do the same thing. So I just slash one will give me um, the person with ID one. And it gives me Anthony. So if I do two, it should give me Cindy. So this is expected. This is a typical RESTful API. You can either specify just the endpoint with no ID and it gives you everything or you can specify an ID and it gives you that specific item and flash restless requires that all of your models have primary keys so you can do this because if they don't have primary keys then there's no way you can reference individual items but that's not really a problem because most of your models are probably going to have primary keys in them especially the ones that you will want to be exposed to this API in the first place so what I want to cover now is how to do post requests and delete requests. Post requests are for adding data to your model and delete requests are for deleting data. So first let me do a post request. So I'll change this to post and I will specify this body here and it's going to be raw because I'm just going to type in my own JSON and the person model has an ID, a name, and it could have pets. The pets are optional, but the most important part of the person model is the name. Um, in a real model of a database, you'd probably have more columns, but in this particular example, I only have one that's um, of interest, and it's name. And then the ID is going to be generated automatically. So in Postman, let me create a new person. So all I have to do is specify um, the attributes of whatever I'm adding to the database. In this case, it's only a name. So I need a name key and a value of a name. So the name will be David. And that's it. So I just need to construct a JSON object with key value pairs of all the attributes or columns that are in the model. And then Flask Restless will take care of adding that into the database. So if I do this post request, with this in the body, let's see what happens. So it says method not allowed. Well, why doesn't it allow us to do this? Because by default, Flask Restless is read only. So the only way you can get it to allow you to write or do like post requests or delete requests is to um, explicitly specify it here. So in this create API for person, I need to specify all the methods that are allowed. So it takes methods and then an array of all the methods. So git post 
and delete. Not only work with a person table today, I won't bother with pet, but it's the same thing. So let me see if my server restarted, it did. And now let me try this again. So I was now send this post request and I got a 405 last time with just the method not allowed error code. Let me try again. And request must have content type application JSON header. So let me see if I can, um, yeah. So that's all I was screaming. So Postman makes it really easy to specify what type of data you're sending over. I was just sending over raw text and it couldn't understand it. So I had to change the header to JSON. So let me send it again. And now it should have added David to the table and it returned an ID of three to me. So let me look inside of my database. Right now I have it up, I only have Anthony and Cindy, but if I refresh, I should now have three people in the database, and I do. Now I have Anthony, Cindy, and David. And like I said, the great thing about Flask Restless is I didn't have to write code to do this. I didn't have to write code to parse the JSON that was sent along with the request, and then take that JSON or that the values in the JSON and insert them into the database. Flask Restless is doing all of this for me. So let me add some more people. So say David um, Kelly, I'll send another one. And Kelly's four. And then let's say Brian. And I'll check my database again. And they were added. <clears throat> so it's really that simple with just these really these three lines of code here and in this case just two lines of code for the one model I'm able to do all of this um, without thinking about it so now let me move on to deletes so as you can imagine deletes are uh, similar to gets in the sense where you can specify a particular ID that you want to delete and if Flask Restless works as advertised, it's going to delete that particular um, row from the database. So let me clear this out. And I will send a delete request to, let's delete person number three. And no response is received. 204 no content well that's exactly what we're expecting let me just show you the documents um, it deletes the person with a given ID and returns 204 no content that's just how flask restless handles it now let me go to the table I want us to delete David so let's see if David is still there David is gone so one two are there it skips three because three was David and now four and five are gone let's delete number four no response received which is good in this case and let's see if Kelly's still there Kelly is now gone so you can see how easy it is to use post and delete and get now some of the other things you can do or one other big thing that you can do is patching so I've created um, videos on how to create your own RESTful API in Flask before, and the method I was using for updating was put. But in their case, they use either patch or put, but they pretty much do the same thing. So they're a little more complicated, so I'll um, show you how to use those in a different video, along with how to search. So here you can search uh, using a GET request, and you can patch and put which are the same thing so I'll demonstrate those in a separate video but in this video I hope you can understand how easy it is to use post and delete and get so if you have any questions just let me know down in the comments I'll post this code on github and I'll put the link in the description below if you like this video just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching